And then the women's doubles, the three-time champions, Stoeva sisters. Will anyone stop them? A French pair will be trying to stop them in their tracks. And then finally, a men's singles final, Antonsen looking for a second title. And Thomas Junior pop off a sensational win over the reigning champion, Victor Axelsen, yesterday. We'll be looking to spoil the party and win a European goal for France. But our attention lies so, with the first final, the women's Carolina singles Lee final coming Spanien. up soon. Woo! Here we see Olympia Carolina Marin. She's catapulted herself to another level when winning a sensational six. That's right, six consecutive championship in front of her adoring fans two years ago in Madrid. If she succeeds today to win a seventh, Marin will match Denmark's doubles legend Camilla Ritter Jul with seven European titles. And a herzlich willkommen an Protagonistin Nummer zwei, Kirsty Gilmore aus Schottland. Zusammen mit Ida. Kirsty Gilmore coming to court. She's been in three finals previously, all of them. All of those finals against her friend off court, Carolina Marin. She's able to have a laugh about that, looking at her three silvers and that bronze in 2021. A brilliant player, but just simply playing in the same era as an all-time great in Carolina Marin. There's nothing she can do about that, but she'll be giving her all in this final to try and win that goal. That's a lose, eluded her for you, for a number of years now. Okay, for you. Badminton Europe. Okay. Um, receive. If Carolina Marin wins today, she'll certainly be confirming her status as the greatest European singles player of all time. It would be seven titles in a row, spanning over a decade. Last year, she took home her first European Games medal and which colour was it, of course? It was the gold, defeating Mia Blichfeld in the final, 21-15, 21-14. The former Olympic champion has been outside the Fantastic Four in women's singles. Ansa Young, Taita Ying, Akane Yamaguchi and Chen Yufei leading the way in men's singles, but this year, an Olympic year, she looks to be making a big statement to her opponents. That even though she's in the twilight years of her career, she's not done. She's not finished and she wants more. She's looking to really cement her legacy as one of the goats of the sport. And is there a better way to do that by winning the All England Open this year? Nine years after she won it before, Back when it was a Super Series event in 2015. That longevity is quite unbelievable. And after a long week in England, she then went on to secure the Swiss Open just a week later. Showing and proving to her fans that she's physically in the best shape she has been for a long time. Kirsty Gilmore last year at the European Games, she took home bronze. Ready to play. Meeting guess who in the semi-final, of course. It had to be Carolina Marin, who won 21-13, 21-11. But she added to that silver medal that she won in 2019. This week, Gilmore has navigated her way past some tricky fixtures. Spain's Clara Azamendi in the opening round and then France's 
Shi Shu Fei, 21 19, 21 16, overturning that tight loss to her at the German Open earlier this year. And then in the quarterfinal, managing to win in two games against Denmark's Lena Christofferson. That one usually goes to three, but she managed to get the job done in two games. And then yesterday's semi final saw Gilmore perform brilliantly to win in two games against Turkey's Neslihan Arin. And here she is in yet another final against a familiar foe of Carolina Marin. She almost had a tough year getting things going on the World Tour. However, the European Championships is where she feels comfortable and feels at home. She'll be determined to be the first Scottish player to win gold. Scotland has won eight bronze medals, four silver medals but never the top prize. Marin's route to the final has been very smooth indeed. Four matches requiring just a little over two hours in total on court. Beginning with a win over Scotland's Rachel Sugden and then the young talent from Bulgaria, Kaliana Nalbantova. Francis Lainis Hue in the quarterfinal was a sterner test before yesterday's semi final win right. over eight Marina seed Marine. Denmark's Slane. Julie Dowell Jakobsen, 21 16, 21 7. And it's gone full circle starting the week against Scotland. Kirsty started her week Kirsten against Gilmore, Spain. Scotland. And in the final, it's Scotland versus Spain. Carolina Marine to serve. Lovell. Play. Oh. One love. Marin with a strong start in the final. Really, if you think about it, what Marin is achieving here is something not only incredible in badminton, cementing herself in the history books, but just something that's quite unbelievable in sport. Full stop. 2014 is the first European Championship win for Caroline, Carolina Marin at 20 years of age and here we are 10 years later in 2024 30 years of age and nobody has knocked her off her throne she's not lost a single match on the european stage Service over. Three, one. that level of dominance and consistency is a thing to behold a testament to her mentality. Hi. Winning three in a row, winning four in a row. And then the fifth and then the sixth in Madrid in front of her adoring fans. Marin still driving forward and wanting to achieve even more. Four, one. A strong start from Marin. Kirsty Gilmore looking to settle down and not let Marin run away with this first game. It'd be really important if she is to dig in, of course. The head to head. 
reads 11-3 to Carolina Marin. However, earlier this year in the European Women's Team Championships, Gilmore did manage to score a two-game victory over the Spaniard in the group stages, which may put some, some doubt into Marin's mind, but... We remember just two days later in the semi-final when Spain and Scotland met again. It was Marin who stormed to victory. Seven, two. Marin was adamant that one went long, but it was called good. Desperate to win every single point, even with a bit of a lead early in this first game. Deciding to leave that body smash. There's Dean to have clipped the line. Kirsty Gilmore has beaten Carolina Marin on German soil at the High Low Open a number of years ago in the semi final. It was certainly a surprise win. Kirsty Gilmore played some fantastic badminton then. Digging deep. Managed to. Gain a lead in both those games, if I remember, and just stuck to it, stuck to the task. So Being chased all the way, but managed nine, to secure four. the win. And But it's Carolina Marin in the driving seat early in this final. It was a great rally from Gilmore. Using all four corners of the court. Making Marin move and finding the space in behind. Just so staying in, and it's 11 5. A healthy early lead for Marin. There she is speaking to her. Coach Fernando Rivas, who's been having a terrific week with the, the French team, creating history with a mixed double gold last night in the mixed doubles final with Tom Chiquel and Delphine Del Rue. Managed to see Thomas Jr. pop off for France in the men's singles final later on.
and Antran and Margot Lambert in the women's doubles final. 11, a really five. good week for France, but he's Play. forever supporting Carolina Marin in here in her journey. Great work by Kirsty. Trying to inject some 11. pace into the rallies, taking initiative early. Okay, back on court. She took that smash particularly high. And then a jump smash to finish. That one Seven, just long. 11. But Marin looking to dictate the pace, keep the tempo really high. She's hoping to put pressure that way on the Scottish player. Hoping that she can't keep up with the pace. Service over 12 7. It was a lockout. Ray, aggression from Marin, moving into the front of the court. Not afraid to follow up on a good shot. It was the body shot that caused Gilmore trouble. Marin saw this and in a blink of an eye, she was already at the net, anticipating the weaker shot. Again, her movement to the net. 14, eight. Very good, very efficient, very quick. Capitalising on a strong shot down the line. Seeing that Gilmore is reaching to that one. And that's the trigger for her to move forward. And this time, taking the pace out of the shot at the front of the net. Yes. Leaving that one just long. 15, eight. Marin wasn't 100% sure. I have to double check what the Line judge was calling. <laughs> That's Gilmore showcasing her racket skills to take the pace out of the shot. 
Marin wanting to inject the pace into the rallies. Gilmore showing there how a change of pace can jam Marin's tactics. But it's six point the deficit. A lot of work to be done. And that's three points in a row for Gilmore. Something that may help help her gain some confidence in this first game. A bit of momentum. But she can't rely on just errors from Marin. For her points, she needs to be looking for ways that she can win the points herself. Again, trying to take the pace out of that 16, shot, but 11. fortunately for her, into the net. Carolina, Carolina, you need to ask for a drink. Take any shuttle. An increase in pace clearly from Gilmore. 17, Pushed that block just 11. wide. First game. Slowly running away from her. A great net shot from Marin. Gilmore blocking the shot, taking the pace out. But Marin not afraid to play a net shot back. That one's out 11. as well. A few inaccuracies in Gilmore's game. Not allowing her to build the rallies and set up opportunities for her to work on her attacking strokes. Yeah, and a bit of a frustrated shot there at the end. Game points, 11. Line judge. Marin just playing superbly well in this final, as she has been all week. The All England champion from this year. Surprised many at the level she's been able to find this year. Thank you, line judge. As mentioned, she's been perhaps a little bit of an onlooker in recent years to the so-called Fantastic Four. Ansa Young of South Korea leading the way. Kana Yamaguchi. Tai Tu Ying always in the mix. Chen Yu Fei, the reigning Olympic champion. But Carolina Marin Game. showing that she can compete this year, an Olympic year. 
if she can make a statement winning another European Championships here in Saarbrück in Germany. 21-11. She's working very hard on core, but making it look like easy work so far. Coach Kinderfarter looking for solutions of what Gilmore can do. He's used behind the court of Gilmore when she's got the better of Marin earlier this year and also at the Hilo Open. German soil, so he knows the level that Gilmour can bring. Fernando Rivas checking his notebook for any adjustments Carolina Marin should make or anything she could or should be aware of in the second game. That's a different approach from Gilmour. She's got the experience of three finals rattling around in her mind against Carolina Marin. She's not been able to win a game against her. Been one-way traffic in European finals. If she's to change that, she needs to change that now in the second game. to Gilmore just flagging to the umpire there may be a bit of light coming through the open door there at the back of the crowd as you can see second game being closed now level no distractions Play. for the players as they focus on this fantastic opportunity for European glory service over one, love. Hey. Oh. Oh. Service over, one, all. This has been the final in 2016 in France, 2017 in Denmark, 2022 in Spain. Stop! Now the two who are good friends off court. They always spend time with each other outside training outside competitive play when on the tour they meet again here in Germany will it be fourth time lucky for Gilmore An interesting idea so clipped down close to the line but it's just pushed long looking for those tighter margins a bit more angle she needs to be absolutely perfect if she's to trouble Marin here today. Three, two. Carolina, you need to wait for the line judge, okay? Great smash from Gilmore. That'll give her a lot of confidence. Cross court winner. Three, four. Seeing Marin sprawled on the floor, diving to that shot. That was fantastic footwork by Gilmore to get around that shot to find that angle. Okay. 
Marin picking herself up from trying to reach that shot. This is the sort of badminton that the the Scottish Three, singles four. player needs to find. But Marin showing in the very next rally the sort of angles that she's able to produce overhead. You can play a good winning shot, so can I, cross court, round the head. She liked that one. Play. And it's a net cord winner. Marin on the deck again. Feel more looking for these tight margins, this time at the net. Tumble net shot. Touching the, the net cord and dribbling over Marin. Almost getting to it. The only option is try and look for that tight cross court. You're more apologising for the bit of luck in that winner. Serve you over. Five, four. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four. A bit of confusion there. But Gilmore, not quite ready. Playing a let on this service. Carolina Marin is the Olympic champion from 2016 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. A remarkable final. One to remember. TV Sindhu. She won that final. Coming from behind 19-21 to then win 21-12, 21-15. A highlight of her illustrious career to add to her three world championship golds. Service over seven five. Of course, showcase that she's not done reaching the world championships final in twenty twenty three last year in Copenhagen. Losing out to Anse Young in the final. This now an Olympic year and the big question is, can Carolina Marin do it again? Chen Yufei winning in Tokyo. Oh, how she'd love to emulate the likes of Lin Dan with two Eight, Olympic five. gold singles medals. It makes it even more impressive with all her achievements in her career in the twilight years still playing at this level. Service over. Six, eight. Perhaps while all the attention is on the other top stars and women singles already mentioned. 
Perhaps people are sleeping on the European Queen. Can she win an Olympic gold on European soil in Paris later on this year? So not long left. There'll just be a few final tournaments and then it's training preparations before the big event of the year. Service over. Nine. Seven. Yes. Thank you. Nine, seven. Gilmore doing what she can to try and stay in this final. But Marin has just got too much attack, too much intensity in her game. Seeing up great opportunities with that net shot, stepping back and smashing straight down the line, straight at her opponent. This is better from Gilmore. She's hanging on. Trying to find a way. Trying to close the gap before the interval break. Fast and Furious rally to end things before the break. It's 11 8 to Marin. She's in pole position to do what she's expected to do, to do what she always does. It's usually the case that we're announcing that Carolina Marin wins the European gold and have done for the past decade. It's a great smash by Gilmore. It's now or never for the Scottish player. She really needs to go for her shots now if she's to dent Marin's confidence. Make her second guess that this is just a another final that she'll inevitably win. Thank you. Gilmore. Hunting for the winners. Nine, eleven. Wow. 
And that one stayed in. Great control from Marin. Finding the space in behind Gilmore. Gilmore trying to be a little bit more aggressive at the net. Trying to force that lift, but that was a fantastic flatter lift into the corner. Great racket skills. He knows exactly what Gilmore is looking for. Service over. 10, 12. Over. Yeah, and Gilmore really going for her shots, jumping out of her base, trying to do things a little differently. Service over, 11, 13. Bit of sloppy errors, two in a row. Into the net for Marin. Opening the door ever so slightly for Gilmore. Ah! Ah! Pushed wide. Some good early work in that Service rally, but over 14, 11. Quick double. consistency isn't quite there for Gilmore today. Under a lot of pressure with the pace of the rallies against Marin, as you always will be, but. Three points, the deficit. Stayed in. Service over. 12, 14. Gilmore still believing. Staying just behind Marin in this second game. Whenever she edges closer, Marin finds her winners again. Great cross court block from Gilmore. Playing a great rally in again. That may have been going just out. Fighting hard. And that one's down the line. The winner. Working incredibly hard for that one. Really up the pace. Much more aggression, aggression overhead. And that one's found the line. Carolina. Carolina. Scored okay. Gilmore asking many more questions of, of Marin in this second game. Carolina, back on court. That was a, a longer, intense rally. Having a bit of a breather before the next one. 13, 14.
Going for quite an ambitious cross court ambitious. there, Gilmore. Not quite so executing it. 15, 13. Very close. Can't get much closer than that. Thank you. She's doing the right thing. Really taking the match to, to Marin. Wait for the line judge. 15, 13. Great return of serve, a bit of deception, a bit of trickery. 14, 15. Keeping in touch with Marin as we slowly enter the business end of this second game. It's a mistake from Marin. And we've drawn level. 15 all. Great touch from Marin. Just out of the reach of Gilmore. 16, 15. Strong response. The damage was done with that overhead down the line, making Gilmore stretch to the first one. And then the touch to the front of the court was just, just out of reach. All that work from Gilmore to get back level. Marin re-establishing her two-point lead as the lead she's had most of the way through this second game. Some brilliant badminton. Back and forth. Great clip down from Gilmore. Slicing the shuttle a little bit to get that angle. Reaching up to the shuttle. Superb finish. Great wrist action. Create the angle. From Gilmore. Again, Marin on the deck, diving to that shot. Thank you. Gilmore's certainly not going to make it easy for Marin. Back on court. Sixteen, seventeen. Drawn level again. 17. Oh. Thank you. 17 all. Can Marin keep her nerve here? She's in control of this second game, but Gilmore is not going anywhere anytime soon. That one's pushed wide. Gilmore has a lead in this second game 18, for the first time 17. for a while. A look back to her coach. This was 
wasn't in the script. Gilmore looking for that cross court winner, which he found earlier in this game. Not that time. This, if anything, was an easier shot. But she didn't quite get her feet right. And we're level again. Great smash down the line. 19, 18. Just too much power on that one. There's been a lot of finesse, a lot of angle created with Marin's winners, but that one was just pure power down the line. And again, using that power to really pile on the pressure now. And she's got two championship points. Two opportunities to write herself into the history books one more time. And it stayed in. This is incredible scenes for Carrie and Marin. Seven European titles in a row. A reign spanning 10 years as they, the two players who are friends off court embrace. This is the fourth time they've met in the final and it's been the same result every time. Carolina Marin. All smiles, a golden performance from the Spaniard once again. I implore badminton fans to have a think of other players or teams in other sports who have dominated badminton as Carolina Marin has over the last 10 years. She's not lost a match at the European Championships seven consecutive European titles. Fernando Rivas delighted with his player. He's receiving congratulations from the opposition coach as well. What an incredible achievement. She's now equal to Camilla Ritter Yul with seven titles. She still has a little way to go to catch Still has a little way to go to catch Gillian Gilks of England with 12 European titles. Two in women's singles, four in women's doubles and six in mixed doubles. But Carolina Marin is a women's singles specialist and this is a remarkable achievement by the Spaniard. 20 years of age when winning her first title in 2014. And here she is, 30 years old, 10 years later, still the Queen of Europe is on her throne. We'll be having the medal ceremony 
for the women's singles shortly, and then we'll be hearing from the from the champion after such an incredible achievement, such an important year for her, leading into the Paris Olympics. In around two months' time, can she become the European champion here and then go on to retain and regain the Olympic crown also? Wir gruben uns jetzt ein schnell für die erste Siegerehrung des Tages. We're gonna start now with the first prize ceremony of the day. Und hier sind sie. Walk in für unsere Siegerin im Badminton European Championship 2024. Bitte! Sven Serre, President of Badminton Europe, and Ralf Michaelis, President of the German Badminton Association. We have heute two dritte Plätze. Einen großen Applaus für einen geteilten dritten Platz. Nestia Marin and Juli Daval Jakobsen. Here we have the 
medal ceremony for the women's singles. Ness and Hannah Aaron of Turkey. Third bronze medal for her. Back in 2021 in Kiev, 2022 in Madrid, and here 2024 in Germany. And Julie Dowell Jakobsen, her first medal at the European Championships, the European Junior Gold Medalist from 2017. She's leading the way for the Danes this tournament. Mia Bickfeld knocked out earlier, second seed in the tournament. And Jakobsen herself defeating the third seed Dane, Nina Kiersfeld. A proud moment for Jakobsen. And the runner-up, another silver to bring home to Scotland and add to the European medals, her fifth European Championship medal. The fourth silver to her collection. She'll be happy with her work this week. She gave it her all in that second game in the final against Carolina Marin, playing some great badminton, but it wasn't to be. And for the seventh time, Carolina Marin sending love to her fans back home. An incredible achievement cementing herself as the greatest European player of all time. Seven consecutive women's singles titles. Another golden year for Carolina Marin. Indicating now seven European titles. Now the national anthem of Spain. So Freunde, und wir machen direkt gleich im Anschluss weiter mit Finale Nummer 2 an diesem Sonntag im Herrendoppel. Das dänisch interne Duell Kim Astrup und Anders Gaskub Rasmussen gegen Andres Sondergaard und Jesper Toft. In wenigen Augenblicken, ich wünsche euch ganz viel Spaß.
Jetzt haben wir wahrscheinlich gleich lang gewartet, aber ich glaube auch. Aber wenn sie da stehen, ich sehe nicht. Die haben schon lange da gestanden. Perfekt. Eine wahre Badminton-Legende ist hier bei uns. A true badminton legend has shared us. Carolina, congratulations. It was a very tough game. Share uh, your emotions with the public and us. Oh, well, of course, I feel really happy to um, to win this medal. It's my eighth European Championship, so it's easy to say, but difficult to get it. But, uh, of course, uh, I feel extremely happy. Uh, you know, I have my, my team here, my, my family, my mom is here. Uh, I also want to say thank you very much for the amazing uh, spectators that we have the, the whole week. Uh, they were sharing me a lot during the the my whole my whole games in the in this week and uh, yeah i feel very very happy the second set was really tough um everybody noticed uh, the kinesia tapes on your leg uh, did you had any problems uh, physically well i had a problems a few days ago because uh, you know i twist my knee and um, i was so afraid because i felt something strange in my knee but um, yeah, I'm lucky because you know when you have uh, the best team around you, you have uh, you have all your confidence uh, on them, and uh, and well, they just uh, take care about my knee, they take care about myself, and uh, and I was ready for today. Little party today, and then concentrate on the Olympic Games uh, nearby in Paris. Uh, I think I don't have uh, much time for party because I have to, to take my flight back to, uh, to Madrid and uh, of course I will uh, take uh, some days off to, to be with my family in my, in my hometown and, uh, and then get ready for, for the Olympic Games. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we move on to the men's doubles final at the European Championships. And it's Kim Astrup, Hernanes, Scarif Rasmussen walking out on court. World silver medalists in Copenhagen and at the European Games last year. They're really enjoying their badminton lately and would love to add another title. And their unseeded opponents, the surprise finalists in the men's doubles. Fellow Danes, Andreas Sundergaard and Jesper Toft have really caught the eye this week with their performances. They've been really clinical in their matches against top pairs. And can they go one more to provide a big surprise in the men's doubles and take the gold away from Kim Astrup and Anna Scarab Rasmussen, the favourites this week to come away with the gold. Hello. Hello. Do you choose the event logo or the Badminton Europe logo? Event logo. Please. So, Badminton Europe logo for you? Event logo it is. Kim to surf. Yes, but receive. Which side? That side. Good luck. Thank you. Kim Astrup and Anna Scarp Rasmussen seeded number ones as they are ranked world number four at the moment. After an outstanding 2023, winning four titles. And they've begun 2024 in similar fashion, reaching the Indonesia Masters final. They've been unmoved in their route to the final. Kick things off with a win over Bulgaria's Rusev and Stoinov. And then a dominant performance over the fifth seeded Scots. And 2022 silver medalists Alex Dern and Adam Hall. Before a semi final clash with the Swiss Open champions Ben Lane and Sean Bendy of England. 
It was a tight opening game, but the Danes held strong before running away with the win. 21-19, 21-7. Their unseeded opponents, fellow Danes, had a win over Estonia's Beric Ulmar, which led to an eyebrow-raising 27-minute win over eight-seeded Popoff brothers, Christo Popoff and Toma Jr. Popoff. 21-8, 21-13. This was followed by a solid win over the Scottish Gribley Twins in the quarter-final before yesterday's all-Danish semi-final clash against the second seed, Rasmus Pierre and Frederick Sergard. And despite being the underdogs, they continued their great attack in badminton, winning 21-15, 21-16. So they haven't dropped their single game, leading up to the final and setting up an intriguing match. There are perhaps some early indicators that something special was brewing with Sundergaard and Toff when they defeated Malaysia's Ong and Tao in three games at the Thailand Masters this year before reaching the Orleans Masters semi-final. However, this week has been a major display of their potential and a huge announcement onto the men's double scene in Europe. We've seen this kind of display from men's doubles depth from Denmark. We've seen three different men's doubles pairs winning in three years between 2016 and 2018. Mads Conrad Peterson and Mads Pela Kolding winning in 2016. Matthias Bowe and Carsten Morgensen winning in 2017. And then handing over the baton to the finalists there, and Kim Astrup and Anna Skarp Rasmussen on my right, winning in 2018 in Spain. Denmark. They've waited four years for another Danish win, another Danish gold medalist, and they've guaranteed a Danish and champion. Left, but which Andreas one will it be? And Jesper Toft, Denmark. <laughs> Kim Astrup to serve. To Jesper Toft, hey. love all, play. Delightful little four. shot in behind One. early on love. from Sundergaard. Right behind the back from Astrup, but it wasn't enough. And a fist in the air from Sondergaard. Early on in this final, they are really up for it and have started fantastically well. The two pairs haven't met before in competitive badminton, but I'm sure behind closed doors, in Danish training and sparring, they would have come, off, come across each other. But it's a very different feeling under the lights and in so particular in a European Two. men's doubles final. Astrup and Rasmussen settling any nerves that they may have had coming into this tricky match. And the first Three, hammer blow two. from Rasmussen from the back of the court turns into a winner.
Very neat and tidy in the mid-court area. But it's a great approach shot from Kim Astrup. A bit unorthodox, shaping as if it could have been a lift. This one here, deceiving his opponents, bringing them to the front of the, the net, giving away a lift. Jesper Toft, the player with the shuttle right now, about to serve the taller of the two. Also played in the mixed doubles this week. Service Went over. on a run Five. to the quarterfinals, Four. defeating Patrick Sheel and Francisca Volkman, playing with Clara Graveson. And then defeating the English pair, Callum Helling, Hemming and Estelle van Leeuwen in three games. Six. Before four. succumbing to the eventual bronze medalists, Matthias Thierry and Amelie Magelund of Denmark. A really close match, 21-19, 21-17 to the fourth seeded Thierry and Magelund. So yes, Toft has been busy this week. Seven, and here four. he is in the men's doubles final. But it was that second round match for Sundergaard and Toft that really caught the eye early on this week, defeating the Popoff brothers. Tom or Junior Popoff, of course, in the men's singles final later on today, playing some great stuff. A formidable men's Nine, doubles pair. Four. Looking for a, another medal for France. But it was just 27 minutes it took the Danish pair to defeat them 21 8, 21 13. Service over. Five, nine. And then again against the second seeds and the favourites to meet Astrup and Rasmussen in the final. Another Danish pair, Rasmus Kier and Frederik Sogard, playing some fantastic stuff on the Great world tonight. tour. A solid performance, 21-15, 21-16. And they thought that that one stayed in down the line. No opportunity to use Hawkeye, unfortunately for the players. 10-5 the advantage for the former champions. An early lead for Astrup and Rasmussen. Five point lead, they must be pleased with that. Strong start to this final. Oh, yeah. 
to minimize that with a left draw. It was a terrific final in the men's doubles at the European Games in Poland last year. Kim Astrup and a scout Rasmussen against Team GB's Ben Lane and Sean Vendy and it went to distance. It went to three games after they won the first game. And they held on 21-19 in the third game to win the European Games gold. Previously, they had to settle for silver against Team GB again. Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge back in 2019. Losing out in two games. But they got their gold last year. Seven is over. Seven, eleven. And their first final of the European Championships was back in 2016, where they lost out to... Mads Conrad Peterson, Mads Peeler Calding, also in three games after they won over. the opening 12, game as well. Seven. So they need to be aware of this in the final to not drop their levels, allow their opponents to come back in, but it's a nice early lead in this final. Again, in 2017, they lost out in Denmark to Conrad Pidsen and Kolding in the semi-final and had to settle for bronze. But they got their gold against Conrad Pidsen and Peter Kolding in 2018 in Spain. Winning the opening game before their opponents were forced to retire through injury. Winning the gold. So, oh, they would absolutely love hitting the final shuttle this time to experience the jubilation of winning a gold with a completed final. Rasmussen reading the returns of serves that have been so effective throughout the week for Sundergaard and Toft. They're an experienced partnership now. Playing a variety of pairs and different styles on the world tour. Played in a world championship final. And they're just winning 15, these 10. early exchanges in the first three shots that are oh so important in men's doubles. Who could force the lift? Who can gain an advantage in the front and mid-court area? And then a few errors 16, creeping in. A bit of frustration 10. from Toft. Yes. That should have been an easy kill at the net, but it went and turned into an error. Six points the advantage now. A healthy lead in the opening game. Thank you. 
back on course. Seventeen, ten. Play. Eighteen. Great variation ten. from Astro and Rasmussen, keeping their opponents guessing. Throwing in flick serves at the right time, changing the pace at the right time. And again, but this time, Thundercard was ready for it. Smash in between. Astrup and Rasmussen really effective. Staying in. Service over. 19-12. Neither pair has dropped a game this week. Service over, 14, Just staying in. 19. Sundergaard and Tofnif not giving up on this first game. But it's still five points, the deficit. Tof's creating some great angles, but it's a solid defence from Rasmussen and... Astrup, but he finds a way through 15, on the backhand 19. of Astrup. That's really a hallmark of Rasmussen's game in particular. Really solid defence, but as a pair, very robust and resilient, but Toff, the taller of the two, finding the angles and the power. Being really persistent in his attack. And Sundergaard. Service over. 20 game points. Tangling himself 15. up there. Planted at the front of the court. And Rasmussen all too happy to capitalise and drive at the body. Great setup by Toft. Using his long limbs to stretch out forward and tap the shuttle down to set up an easy smash for him. Using his physical attributes really well. Great return of serve, and that's 21 16. The opening game, game Sundergaard and Toft having to experience losing 16. a game for the first time this week. It's all about how you respond to that, how you react. There's plenty more badminton to be played. For the first game in the bank for Astrup and Rasmussen. As it's two pairs from Denmark, no coaching on hand. Out of respect for the pairs. Both pairs flying the Danish flag in the men's doubles.
As mentioned, the two pairs haven't faced each other before in competitive play. The game plan and tactics, they'll be working each other out in the opening exchanges. Second game, love all, play. Great retrieval from Astrup. Bit unorthodox. One, love. We've got the job done. Patching up the holes that Sundergaard and Toft were looking to exploit. Great drive Two. from Rasmussen. Love. Didn't even have to move, it was all racket skill. The power of that shot down the middle. And you can see they're looking Three. to blitz their Love. opponents here early in the second game. Get an early advantage. The pace has increased. They know that if they get an early lead in the second game, they'll be in, in control of this final. Sondergaard and Toft have to respond. They're finding it really difficult to get any purchase on their shots in the opening three shots, which Kim Astrup is really dominating and cleaning up and giving easy and simple opportunities for Rasmussen to finish the rally. Service over. First point on the board. One, four. Service over. Five, one. Kim oh. and Anna Six. Scarab Rasmussen one. have been flying high of late. A brilliant 2023 starting with the, the Canada Open title. Defeating the other emerging Danish pair, Rasmus Kier and Frederik Sergard in three games in that final. Service over. From there, they moved on to Two, the Hong six. Kong Open. Defeating Indonesia's Carnando and Martin in a sensational final, 21-19 in the third game. They added the Arctic Open in Finland. Service over. Defeating Malaysia's Seven, Man Wei Chung and Tai Kai Wun in that final. And then to top things off, they took home the big prize of the year for them, the French Open. Defeating Indonesia's Mohamed Fikri and Bagas Maulana. Again in three games, they're no strangers to... Service over. Long, Three, gruelling, tough seven. matches. They're always physically and mentally prepared to go the distance. Service 
service over. Eight, three. And earlier this year in the Indonesia Masters final, another great final against Carnando and Martin. This time the Indonesians took the win. But it demonstrates that they are still in, in great form and looking Nine, for a second European three. title here in Germany. They've achieved medals at the European level, the European Games, at the World Championships, a bronze medal in 2021. Ten, Silver medal last year on home soil in Copenhagen, 2023, losing out to Kan Ming Hyuk and Suez Jung Sung Jae. Of course, three games. 21-17 in the four, deciding game. Ten. And with this form, they'd love to translate that to a great run at the Paris Olympics later on this year. And they'd love to come into the Olympic Games with the title of European champions. Over, 11, four, interval. And they're doing everything they need to do in this final. 11-4, the lead. Looking very good for the right-hander and left-hander from Denmark. Much of Sondergaard's and, and Toft's success this week has been their aggression and their ability to Put pressure at the front of the court with Kim Astrup, he's one of the best in the world. But manipulating the shuttle, taking control in those in the net area. And if they need to defend, they can certainly defend. And Rasmussen, a great workhorse from the back. Very consistent. It's a sort of pair they haven't come across so far in their careers. And this is an early experience for them in the European Five. final. Service over. Five, 11. But they've showed a lot of promise, a lot of excitement around this pair after what they've done this week. The angles and damage they're able to inflict with some of their strokes and shots. I think they can certainly develop into an interesting Six, partnership 11. in years to come. A bit of deception there over the head of Kim Astrup. Got a lot of quality, a lot of skill to give. Erasmus. Kim Astrup and uh, Rasmussen have been a partnership for many years and affected their craft and their understanding of each other's games, their strengths and weaknesses. Service over. 12. And in particular, their performances in high pressure situations in semi finals and finals. They almost never leave anything left in the tank. They deliver everything they have to offer on court. Great angles from Sundergaard this time.
Service over. 13 7. Fourteen seven. Now this is a healthy lead in the second game. A mountain to climb for the younger pair. Fold. Service over. Eight forty. Service over, 15-8. Sundergaard and Toft will take a lot out of this final, yes. out of this experience, this terrific week. The biggest thing is they'll, they'll take belief that they can play at this level. Thank you. They can cause pairs problems. As mentioned, they defeated Ong and Teo in three games. There was a terrific Nine, performance 15. earlier this year in the Thailand Masters. Play. And here they are on the top European stage. Out. Mixing Service it up over. with the very best. 16 9. But Rasmussen and Astrup, they can see the finishing line now. They can see the European gold, another European gold to add to their collection. They've been through their fair share of heartbreak. Early on, they had to settle for silver. They had to settle for bronze before winning their gold when their opponents retired in the final. But hopefully this time... They'll be able to play the final shot, the final winning shot on championship point, and they're edging ever closer. Sundergaard going for the spectacular 18, there. 11. Trying to find the tram line. The cord, and that's the pressure that Rasmussen and Astrup can put you under with their defence. No real space on court to work with. Thank you. Eighteen, eleven. Play. Great drive from Astrup. 19-11. Stepping into the mid-court area really well. Overall, they've just been a little bit of a class above at the moment. Lots of experience playing these high-pressure games. Sundergaard and Toft have demonstrated some of their Great shot-making ability, but 
Rasmussen and Astrup slowly closing in on, on match points. Good to see they're in good spirits, smiling and laughing in between rallies. They're enjoying themselves. Can they do the unthinkable and 14, mount a little mini 19. comeback here? Clawed it back to five points, the deficit. That was a great over. return of serve, and now it's six match, match points, points. six championship points for Kim Astrup and Anna Scarab Rasmussen. Uh -oh. uh -oh. That one stayed in. We're going to have to remain patient a little longer. Celebrations for Astrup and Rasmussen, a second European title. This time, they get the opportunity to play the final shot. They feel the outpouring of joy. A great statement in an important year and what could be a really special year for them if they continue their great form. Are they the European chance of an Olympic men's doubles medal? Match won by Kim Astrup and Anders Gaub Rasmussen. They remain cool and calm in the men's doubles final against a bit of an unknown opponent for them. Playing some terrific badminton, but they knew what they can do and remain solid in their defence and did what they needed to do in the final, winning it in two straight games. And they add a European goal to their goal from 2018. They add it to the world bronze and the world silver that they won in Copenhagen. And of course, right next to the European Games gold, they won last year in Poland. They'll be delighted with this performance this week, not dropping the game all the way to the European goal. An efficient and clinical performance from Kim Astrup and Anna's Scarab Rasmussen. And we'll have the men's doubles medal ceremony now, followed by interviews with the champions.
Saarlandhalle. Wollen wir die Spieler mal reinrufen? Macht gemeinsam Lärm, hallo! Und da sind sie, die Medaillen der Weltmeisterschaft 2024. Überreicht wird mit das Edelmetall. Die Medaille ist wirklich präsentiert bei Sven Seve, President of Badminton Europe, Uwe Konrad, Major of Saarbrücken und Ralf Michaelis, President of the German Badminton Federation. Das England ist Sean, Bendy und Ben Lane. Ein Bronze Medal für sie. This time round. Der Silver Medalist of the European Games last year. Another Bronze Medal to add to their Bronze Medal in 2022. And Rasmus Kier and Frederick Sogard, their first Bronze Medal. That's the way they were playing, seeded number two. They were hoping for the final, but this is a, a good start for them in their partnership. And their growth as a pair coming through. Thank you. Playing more on the World Tour. Thank you. Also for you. Unseeded this week. A memorable week for this new Danish pair pulling up trees this year and showing what they can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Three Danish men's double pairs on the podium. But it's Kim Astrup and Anna Skadlatsen at the top of the tree. Once again, as they were in 2018, another European gold. They'll enjoy this one. They've really looked like they've been enjoying their band over recent years. And this is another great milestone for them in an Olympic year. Will there be Europe's men's doubles hopes in Paris? And now for the Danish national anthem.
vernachlässigt, vor allem was die T-Shirts vorhin anging. Hier bei euch. Hat jemand Lust auf ein T-Shirt? Ja. Müssen wir ein bisschen gucken, wie das mit der Pistole funktioniert. Probieren wir es mal aus. Das geht noch besser. Das stimmt aber. Okay, ich weiß, ihr seid in der Unterzahl, aber ich bin mir sicher, ihr könnt das. Hat wer Lust auf ein T-Shirt? Ja. Da hat sich doch ein T-Shirt verdient. Ja, zwei höchst verdiente Europameister, two well-deserved European champions. Congratulations. What was the most important key in this match? Was it your service and to keep the rallies as short as possible? Uh, it might have seemed like that, but no, it was stepping uh, forward on court. Uh, the, those guys uh, have a really strong uh, attack, so yeah, we were trying our best to, uh, to defend and uh, keep uh, the momentum. So uh, I think we did, uh, we executed the plan uh, really, really, really good today. Yeah, and kept cool. Yeah, we try to at least. Uh, it's difficult when you're in the final, but uh, we are very satisfied with our performance. And uh, this is our second European uh, title, so we're proud of that. Tonight, a little bit of uh, Danske Fartøl. Yeah, uh, I'll take it in Danish. Is that okay? Or yeah, yeah, I've already bestilled a few fadbams. Sports chef, I'm sure he's out there now. Audience. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bitte ein Bier. Ja, äh, zwei, zwei Bier gibt es äh, für die, zwei kalte Bier, zwei große kalte Bier. Two cold beers. Ja. Yeah. And um, looking forward to the Olympic Games. Last question. Um, European champion, uh, number four in the world. Uh, medal is the dream. Yeah, we we came for this medal, and uh, I think before the tournament, we we saw ourselves as the best pair in in Europe, and uh, we would like to show that. And I've. I think we've been consistent throughout the week and uh, really played a solid game, so I'm happy with the performance and we look forward to the last four tournaments before the, the seeding um, for the Olympics is over. So we are going to do our best to, to get one of those one to four seeds, but uh, yeah. yeah. He asked about the Olympics, but yeah, that was the only thing you didn't <laughs> yeah. uh, answer. So I'll take that. Our goal is uh, to win a medal at the Olympics. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy. Good luck and nice party. Herzlich willkommen, Gabriela und Stefanie Stojeva aus Bulgarien. From one terrific final to another to the women's doubles Yamina final. Yamina und Leonie. Three-time European champions, Gabriela Stojeva and Stefanie Stojeva, ranked number 22 in the world, chasing a fourth title in a row which would be an unbelievable feat Aus their opponents today Mago Lambert Anne Tran are looking to ride the French wave that we've been experienced this week 
Lots of French success and positive energy around the French team and they're coming in today. Actually ranked and seeded higher than the reigning champions. And we'll be looking for another European goal to add to the goal that Tom G. Kerr and Delphine Del Rue won in mixed doubles last night. If the Stueva sisters are successful in this final and then win a fourth title in a row, it would match the feat achieved by Christina Pedersen and Camilla Ritayul. For so many years, they had to wait in the wings behind the Danish pair. But when they got their chance to win their first gold medal, they haven't looked back. They are the reigning champions. And last year, they picked up a second European Games gold in Poland, defeating today's opponents in the semi-final, needing to come from a game behind to win in three. That may be something that they'll need to keep an eye on, an early strong start from the French pair. Their run to the quarter-final has been a simple two-game victory over the young Spaniards, Paola Lopez and Lucia Rodriguez, 21-15, 21-8. And then a composed performance under the pressure of the home crowd, Germany's Linda Effler and Isabel Lohau, 21-15, 21-14. And yesterday's semi-final was much of the same against the Turkish duo, Bengisu Erkatin and Nesli Haninki, who stunned the number one seeds. Frogard and Thigerson. The Stueva sisters won that match yesterday, 21-15, 21-11, to book another European Championships final. Margot Lambert and Antran, their route to the final has been faultless. They had the potential banana skin against England's experienced and former European silver medalist Chloe Birch, who's playing with the young prospect Estelle Van Leeuwen. They managed to win 21-10, 22-20. And then they surpassed the Ready Scottish second seeds, Julie McPherson and Kiara Torrance, before a strong semi-final win over the Dutch pair and fourth seeds, Deborah Gila and Cheryl Sinan, 21-15, 21-12. Antran, the more experienced Marco, of the duo, Marco, Marco, has been in the European Women's Brothers. Doubles final before, yeah. back in 2018, playing with Emily Lefel. And it was when the Stueva sisters picked up their first title, and since then they haven't looked back. But Antran will look to draw on that experience today. Stranger things have happened. The French Tomo Jr. pop off with a Ladies and stunning gentlemen, performance over the reigning champion right, Victor Axelsen. Tom Gikel and Delphine Denru winning the mixed doubles gold. There's something in the air for France. Will they be able to cause trouble for the three time left, women's Gabriela doubles champions? Stoeva the Stoeva Stoeva sisters. Stoeva, Bulgaria. Margot Lambert to serve to Stephanie Stoeva. Love all. Play. Play. 
And a lovely flick serve to start the final. Very cheeky but clever shot to throw in really early on to get the advantage. After a one-shot opening rally, service over. We've had a really long second rally going the way of the Stuavers. One all. Service over. It's all about feeling the conditions Two of the court. All. Getting the length correct, particularly important in women's doubles. And this first game could be whoever settles down. Service Early over. on in this final, Three, two. you can get more comfortable. Be able to gain an advantage. Fault. Service over. Great kill by Lambert. Three old. She's been a revelation in this women's doubles partnership, partnering Antran, the more experienced player. Cross category in mixed doubles and women's doubles. Antran has been a prominent player for France. But the French team have managed to find a, a great partner for her. Service over. Four, three. Service over. Four all. A few flick serves Five, that one. Eight, Not going four. out the back this time for Antran. Being really effective. Great deception from Lambert. She's 
checking if it's going long. This is a really terrific rally. That was a weak shot. Great defence from Tran. Once again, locking while on her knees, but that one a bit of a loose shot at the end. But this might be the blueprint for both pairs as the resilience needed, Five, the consistency four. needed in these long rallies. be whoever plays the percentages whoever reduces the errors down when you're going for your attacks the Stueva sisters they don't make many they're a really solid partnership A great placement for the smash. There's nothing between them in their early, in the early part of this final. Six all. Great defence initially from Lambert. She knew that she was going to get the lift, and she stayed in the rear court, ready to pick out the placement for her smash. That's great aggression from France. Turning up the heat on the on the attack and keeping Seven, it on. Six. Service fault called. Too high. The service first service over. fault on the flick serve. Seven all. Called against France. This week we've seen quite a few flick serves and doubles and singles. So the service judges have been busy this week in Germany. Lambert again with some great attacking play. That's the strong part of her game. She'll be the one looking to generate the power. Antran is capable in all areas of the court, but she looks to dominate the, the front area, most of all around the net. And leaves it for her younger partner, Lambert, to Nine, eight. look for opportunities from the rear court. Much like Stefani Stoeva on the other side of the net. Now showing some great variation. 
not just powering the shot down the line, but finding the space cross court as well. Ten, Very clever eight. play. She knew that Gabriella was inching her way towards the net, hunting for the shots. She's utilizing that change in formation to find the space. It's Antran putting pressure on at the front of the court. Great flat drive down the line causing the problems. And it's a tiny but important lead for the French pair against the reigning champions. The Stoeva sisters haven't been at the same level as previous years. Hence their seeding being lower than the French pair that they're playing against in the final. That's the way of assistance. Seeded number three, while Margot Lambert and Antoine seeded number two coming into this week. But in 2024, Seen the sisters look to gain some momentum with an Azerbaijan international tournament win, which led to a really strong showing at the German Open final. 11, 10. They lost that final, but Play. it was a deep run in, in a World Tour tournament, something they haven't experienced for a little while. But this is their title to defend. And they'll be determined to do it to not lose their European crown. Great interception by Lambert from the front of the court. 12, Getting involved, 11. being proactive. Finding opportunities to make the difference in these rallies. A nice block moving forward, but still staying really alert. Reach up and intercept the shot, and that caused problems for the Stoevers.
Both pairs showing great patience now as we edge deeper into this second game, but it's just the Wavers with the two-point advantage 14, now. 12. Players, ready? The Bulgarian sisters determined to take the opening game, being aware of what happened at the European Games semi final. The French pair taking an early lead, piling the pressure on and making the, the sisters work. They'd like to secure this opening game if they can. That was great approach play from Gabriella, anticipating the shot to the middle, the softer shot to the middle, giving her time. 16, 12. If you look here, it goes up again to Lambert. And she's already there, Gabriella, anticipating the same shot to the middle. And that comes with experience, being able to read the game at that level. That's great power from Gabriella this time. 17, 12. Once again, an attacking shot from Gabriella. She's having a really brilliant 18, spell here 12. in the first game. Now it's Tran who closes the gap at the net. Hunting for these opportunities. 18. And there's not been many opportunities, but when they arise, Tran's ready to convert them into points. But they're five points behind the reigning champions. And as we started this first game in a similar fashion, 15, a clever 18. flick serve from Lambert chipping away at this lead. Not giving up on this first game. And another one. Service over. The opportunity was there, but it went just too long. 19, 15. Trans eyes lit up. Now that's the Wave Assistance was five point, game points here 15. to close out the opening game to establish their dominance in the final.
16, 20. And that secures it, the opening game for the Stoeva sisters. First game won they'll, be, by they'll be pleased Stoeva with that, solid enough. 21 16 the score. <laughs> they haven't dropped the game since they won the. The title in 2018, they haven't dropped the game in the final. Winning in 2018 against Antran and Emily Lefel, 21 12, 21 10. And then in Kiev in 2021, they hung on in the second game against Chloe Birch and Lawrence Smith, winning in two games. 14, and then another dominant okay. display against the German partnership with Linda Eppler and Isabel Lohau in Madrid 2022. Some clear instructions there from the coaches for the French partnership. Players on court. Some really specific instructions around placement of shots and also converting on the defence to be more proactive on both sides of the game when they're attacking and also in their defence to look for these opportunities to convert and also Second some motivational game. advice that it will be tough. They are the champions, they are the reigning champions, Play. but it will also be tough for them. They tighten up their game and really pile on the pressure. In the second game, that's a great first shot from Antran. They'd love to start this second game really positively. Another three love valuable flick serve winner from Lambert. And that's just Up wide. Over. You can see the One, energetic three. play that they're trying to inject into this final. Brilliant defence from Antran. Outstanding. The shot was placed with a lot of power right at her body and she was able to manipulate her position with great racket skills. Falling away to the right but still was able to control the shuttle into the space. This is exactly what they need. Once again Antran converting on the defence, listening to her coaches. And this is much better play from the French duo. 
And that's now a 6-1 lead in the second game. Great adjustment from Lambert, but wasn't able to do it a second time. Taking the shot late on her forehand. Defence on both sides of the net. Just long, just the waivers remaining resilient, not responding Four, six. to that early surge from France, remaining true to their game. Unbelievable defence from Stefani there. Antran closing in aggressively at the net. But Stefani remained resolute. Stayed in. And just moments ago, it was 6 1 to the French pair. And the Stewaver sisters have Seven, managed to find six. six points in a row to regain their lead at 7 6. This is what champions do they don't crumble when. Things are going, or rather, things are not going their way. Sorry, they remain true to their game plan and they trust their abilities. Seven. And that's why they're so hard to beat. Over. 
eight, seven. Service over. Eight O. Great retrieval skills from Stefani. Almost like a tennis shot there. Going along the back line to retrieve that shot. And she's won it. Great play from Stefani. Not really a badminton shot, but it will do. Got them back into the rally. Really in a final, it's any means necessary. The fight for every point. And that's what they're doing here. Great anticipation again by Stefani, covering her sister, plugging the gaps, that's what she's so good at, gets her opportunity to attack, and if it's not there she's able to recycle. Great defense by Stefani. She really is one of the best women doubles players in the world. One of the best rear court players. Showcasing her defense that time and patience Ten, on the attack. Eight. But using the opportunity. All that space on the left side of the court was left unattended by the French pair. And Stefani slapped that shuttle into the space. Again, Stefani looking for that space cross court when the French pair unload their attack. Service over. Nine, ten. And the Bulgarians are not forcing the issue. They're happy to be patient in the rallies. But it's a net cord winner for the French pair. A bit of luck. 
a hand up from Antran, apologising for the luck, but they, they'd be loving this. Ten all now in the second game. Just like the opening game, a small one-point lead for France at the interval. Just the way the sisters reacted really well after the break. They'll have to do the same again in the second game if they are to win this final in two. Over 11 years ago, the Stoeva sisters together won the European Junior Championships 11, in 2013 10. in Ankara, Turkey. Play. And now, uh, a decade later, they're still dominating the European stage in the women's doubles. A little bit of confusion there from the Stoeva sisters, but so they've somehow managed to keep the rally going. Again, taking that late, but their defence stays resolute, but not that dying from Lambert, and that's a two-point advantage now for France. This is exactly what they were looking for after the break. Okay. Ready? 13, 11. Great play by Tran. Service 
Amen. Pastor. It'd be really interesting to see what the Stoavers do in response to this. They've remained very steady, not changing too much with their game. Do they continue playing a really solid game on the defence? Hoping that their consistency takes them to the European title again or do they have to be more proactive? They're happy to defend right now. Wait for the errors from France. But at the moment, they're not forthcoming. The French pair is playing some really great badminton. Just like that down the line winner from Lambert. is going all the way for France in this second 12. game and Tran with a delight, delightful touch into the space The wave of sisters look 17. very calm despite what's happening in front of them. Staying very steady. Calmly chipping away at this lead in the second game. Can they draw the French pair back in? Hey. Great return of serve by Tran. She knows all too well 14. the dangers of allowing the Stoavis get into a flow to get into their rhythm. He's desperate to win this second game. Look at that. Taking it in her own hands now, despite breaking her string, moving forward 19, to the net, closing 14. the gap. They are finding these winning opportunities, particularly against Gabriela Stoeva in the Bulgarians' defensive stance. Over. 15, An error on the attack. Lambert's 16, eyes lit up 19. with that opportunity. They're two points away from forcing a decider. They need to stay calm. 
Right. As the Stuavers are now, they're not panicking. And that's it, they're reeling them back in 17, slowly. 19. These are the crucial points of this final. Great defence once again from Stefani. Staying solid. Service over. But it is an error on that cross court opportunity. And it's two game points for France. The forces the decider in this final. And that stayed in. A smash from Tran. This final is going to three. Second game won by Marco Lambeck and Anna Tran, 21-17. One game all. Great proactive play from the French duo. They're doing a bit of everything. Tran there, smashing from the rear court. Lambert. Setting up the lift with a lovely net shot. Rolls reversed. Good decision than Stephanie. Okay, and it's hurt a lesser danger too in the rallies. Okay, so she's a little bit the same spot. Yeah, and it's hurt we try to attack most as possible too. The coaches on the French side discussing their points of attack. They've identified potential weaknesses in the threat in the Bulgarian defence. It's gone to three, 21-16 to the Bulgarians in the first, 21-17 to France in the second. Could it be that France win another European gold? It's been a special week for France. Strong performances all round. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Can they take inspiration from Tom Gicquel and Delphine Del Rue, who won the mixed doubles gold? After years of agony, after years of near misses, they finally got their gold. And Tran knows what it feels like to. Walk game. away from a final. Love all. Playing with Emily Leffel. Play. With just a silver. They'll be doing everything to win gold. Service over. And that's brilliant play by the Stowavers. One love.
Fine touch. Work the court, please. That's a great touch by Gabriella. She's been missing a little bit in that second game with her Two dominance left. at the net. But she was able to anticipate and Thank take you. that shuttle early. It wasn't a terrible net shot from Lambert, but Gabriella was able to pounce. To love. Service over. One, two. Service over. Three, one. And Tran trying to keep up morale in this deciding game. She knows what it takes to push through in finals like this. That was an opportunity for Gabriella at the net. Three-all. This final has been mightily close. That European game semi-final the French pair took the opening game but then it was really a turning of the tide and the Bulgarians were in control of the second and third game but this is not the case here it's now 4-3 to the French pair they're not allowing the Stawavis to get into any three. sort of rhythm It might come down to who wants it more. Is it Lambert and Tran who are desperate for the first title, another European gold for France in a special year for French sport with the Paris Olympics around the corner? Or will it be Stoavers? Will they have the motivation to battle through for a fourth title matching 
Christina Pedersen and Camilla Ritayu, who they looked up to and waited in the wings for so long. That would mark their place in women's doubles history. It might come down to who is the hungrier pair to win this final. Service over. Seven, five. And it's the Stoeva sisters still not looking to force things just yet. Remaining steady. Not panicking too much, but it's the French that do lead this deciding and most important game. And they're growing with confidence. Antran punching the air after Eight, that shot. Great adjustment of her feet. That cross-court lift was very short and it was punished. Antran with a bit of a fall there. Hope she's okay. We were just talking about her immaculate footwork in the rally before, but she stumbled there, looking to get to that shot. Thank you. Players on court. A bit of luck that it went out. Great retrieval from Tran. Working hard and it's paid off. Both players now celebrating every point. Ten, five. Determined to get to the change of ends with a healthy lead in this decider. body language on the different sides of the court couldn't be any more different really excited and positive from France They're unmoved and calm despite the circumstances on the Bulgarian side but they need to make their move now at the change of ends the French pair moved to the side of the court where they won their second game. In theory, the better side for them. Everything going the way of France at the moment. They crashed the smart 
Всъщност ние после към среда, защото те ме чакат за Мотивационал съпорт от френските коучи. Really close to what they came here for. European goal, but they need to take one rally at a time. That's the advice from their coaches. 11-6. Service over. Seven eleven. That's a great smash from Stefani. Who's still 11. running left to right, but still was able to generate great power. Service over. Great attacking play from France. Thirteen nine. Working really well to maintain their lead. That's an easy kill for Tran. Fourteen nine. They are breaking down the Bulgarians' defence. gone wide some errors now some cheap errors creeping in the Bulgarians game six points the advantage now Superb patience from Lambert. She was in a, a spot of bother early in that rally. She remained cool. 16, working hard to dig out shots from the front of the court and then found her way back to where she's comfortable and taking her time overhead. The superb stuff from France. 17-9 the lead in the deciding game. Surely it's too late now for the Stoavis to do anything about this. They trusted their game. That's taken them to 
three European titles. They remain true to their game plan. But now the errors are creeping in and I think they've lost the belief that they can keep fighting with this French pair that are giving it their all here, showcasing some excellent badminton. Service over. 10, 18. Wink. Okay. They've just been the better pair on the day, and this is what can happen in finals. The French pair Play on. did not waver after losing the opening game, despite playing some good stuff. Managed to make some really important changes to their game. Remaining dangerous on the defence and on the attack as well. 19, 10. And since then, they've not looked back. They've just grown in confidence. The energy that they have on court, supporting each other, high fives, making the odd mistake, but then coming back with great rallies after that. That's a smash winner down the line. Everything's going the way for France now. Who would have thought it at the beginning of the week? France had zero European gold medals. And they've got 10 championship points to make that two. And Tran on the deck, somehow retrieving the shot. They're fighting for everything right now. They know how close they are. Lambert, can she do it? She's been absolutely fantastic in the final. You can see the Bulgarian sisters, they don't want to give up their title. Service over. They're digging in, but it's nine match points, nine championship Anna. points that they have to Michael contend with Anna. now. 's court winner from the young Lambert Antran gives her a, a warm hug smiles all round what a feeling it is for that pair winning a European goal for France a second one for France and what a feeling it must be for Antran runner up back in 2018 with Emily Lefel. Now with a new partner, she returns to a women's doubles Anna European Tran. final, but this time she's 16, coming away 21, with gold. 21, 17, They've been absolutely 21, terrific. 11. They were not intimidated by the three-time reigning champions. They kept working at it, staying positive and proactive all the way through the final, and they deserved it. They deserved the victory. And what a week it's turning out to be for France. Second European gold. They're still smiling. Can they let it sink in? What they've managed to achieve. They've not been a pair together for very long. But they've managed to build and grow together as a partnership. And here they are, the champions of Europe, the best in the continent. And now they'll be getting ready for the medal ceremony and they'll be at the very top. And then we will have the opportunity to hear from them 
in a post-match interview. That confirms it. The Stueva sisters strong in the first game, 21-16. But the French pair, Margot Lambert and Anne Tran, turning it round, coming from behind, 21-17, 21-11. Okay, jetzt könnt ihr sie reinrufen. Hallo! Let's call them all together. Das Edelmetall wird serviert von Sven Serger, President of the Badminton Euro, Reinhold Joost, Minister of Sports und Ralf Michaelis, President of the German Badminton Federation. So we have a shared third place. The medals go to the Turkish two, Bengizo Ertucin and Natija Inci. And here we have the medal ceremony for the women's doubles. Turkish pair Bengizu Ertucin and Estihan Inci. Surprise package, they knocked out the number one seed from Denmark, Broegaard and Biggerson. Congratulations. And they come away with a, with a bronze medal for Turkey. And it's the Dutch partnership of Deborah Gila and Cheryl Sinan, fourth seed bronze medalists. That's a third bronze medal for Sinan, two with Selina Peak, and now another with Deborah Gila. And runners up. They weren't able to win four in a row. Three time European champions. This time they have to settle for silver and make way for another pair to have a go at being labelled European champions. But they're still smiling as they always are after wins and losses. Now it's time for the winners. Badminton European Championship 2024 winners, Gabriela! I'm sorry, Margaret Lambert and a little bit of a mistake there with the announcement. We've probably gotten used to the Stueva sisters winning, but this time it's the time for Margot Lambert 
and Anne Tram. Of France, the second European goal for France after the success of the mixed doubles last night. Perhaps drawing on the inspiration from this French success to fight as hard as they did in that final. Coming back from a game down to turn the fight final in their favour. It's a momentous year for France with the Paris Olympics and it's been a long time coming for the whole French team. And here they are, another French pair on the top of the podium about to listen to the French national anthem. Mal schauen, welche Seite ist lauter? Rechts habt ihr Lust auf ein T-Shirt? <lacht> Links, ihr müsst jetzt alles zusammennehmen, was ihr habt. Links, habt ihr Lust auf ein T-Shirt? Okay. Ich würde sagen, ich mache euch ein faires Angebot. Wir machen jetzt einmal links und nach dem Finale gleich gehen wir nach rechts. Ist das fair? Okay. Hände hoch! Alle fangen! Wir haben es. Ja, quel surprise, alors, so fond de la patrie. <laughs> And then, um, was it really a surprise uh, to win against the story of us? Um. I can't say it was a surprise because we aim for it and we really want it. But uh, yeah, they are they, ha they are a very good pair. Uh, they they have uh, like multiple European champion uh, titles, and we knew it was going to be a hard match and a long match. And uh, yeah, it's it's not a surprise, but it's a very good fight. Margot, in the last break, the Bulgarian coach said, "Play to Margot, play to Margot, play to Margot," and you gave the answer. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was a mistake for them to play to play on me, but yeah, I'm just glad we we managed to to win this match. We worked very hard. The rally were, were long, the match were long, and we gave it all. So very happy about the victory today. 
Last question en, en français. Um, nous avons les Jeux Olympiques dans quelques semaines. Quels sont votre objectif um, à la maison à Paris euh, bah pour l'instant, c'est vrai que là, on n'a pas encore projeté sur les Jeux, mais euh, on va bien se préparer, on va être en forme et je pense qu'il faudra nous attendre au tournant parce qu'on va être euh, vraiment à 200%. Mais on a un rêve, n'est-ce pas On a un rêve, ouais, ouais. Euh, bah, déjà, euh, ce serait de sortir de poule et après essayer d'aller le plus loin possible. Félicitations, congratulations, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. So, meine Damen und Herren, Herren Einzelfinale begrüßen Sie aus Saarbrücken, Maurice und aus Frankreich, Thomas Junior Popov. And now we have the last final of the European Championships in Saarbrücken, Germany, and it's Thomas Junior Popov walking out on court. The man who's defeated the reigning champion Big Tax and yesterday to make it to the final he stood on the podium two years ago with a bronze medal around his neck an extremely proud moment but he's got a better color this year but will it be gold or will it be silver and the man Anders Antonsen of Denmark finalist last time You'd be looking at another shot to add to his title that he won in key of 2021. Which we know it was a final that wasn't played, unfortunately. And he's desperate to experience hitting that final winning shot here today in the final. But it will be a terrific final. A fantastic opportunity for both players. A really hard one to call. Saarbrücken. It is Saarbrücken. Don't I receive? You start on my right. The final coin toss of this week determines the side of the court that the players will play on and who will serve first. It will be an intriguing men's singles final. Anna's Antonsen there. Sprinting onto court. 
really motivated to do well at this European Championships after a disappointing European Games last year in Poland. His route to the semi-final, despite being the second seed, has been a tricky one. Starting out with Spain's Luis Enrique Penelva, forcing settings in the second game, with Anderson winning 21-16, 24-22. And then Mark Kaliu, always going to be a difficult match against the Dutchman. And to top it all off, Arnold Merkel fought tooth and nail in the quarter-final against Anderson making him work extra hard. There were some crazy exchanges, and, and as Antonsen said in the interview afterwards, but he won 24-22, 27-25. It was a back and forth match, a really grueling match. One of the matches of the tournament, if you haven't watched it. And then the semi-final was very different against a young Finn, Joachim Oldorf some great badminton this week another bronze medal for Finnish men's singles but it was perhaps a step too far for him this time and Antonsen won swiftly 21-11 21-11 he was able to put his feet up yesterday evening and watch Thomas Jr. pop off fight really hard against the reigning champion Victor Ackerson so perhaps Antonsen a bit fresher coming into this final Tomo Jr. pop up his route to the semi-final. Ready to play. Started with a swift win over the much respected 38-year-old Pablo Avian of Spain. And then a three-game tussle with Joran Fikl, lasting almost an hour and 20 minutes. And in contrast, it was a quick quarter-final that was wrapped up in half the time against Azerbaijan's Adereski Rukayo. And then, of course, as everyone knows, the sensational semi-final of the ages where Toma Jr. Popov found a way past the world number one and reigning champion, Victor Axelsson. It was looking like Axelsson would make his move in the third game and deciding game. But Popov found energy reserves from somewhere. I don't know where, but he sprinted towards the finishing line, winning 21-19, 17-21 and then 21-9 in that third game. He deserves to be in the final the way that he's playing and he'll be motivated to really challenge Anders Antonsen when on paper there's only one outcome. A win for Antonsen. They've played eight. Antonsen has won eight. However, the most recent results, results showed that Antonsen had to battle hard with another resilient Frenchman in that quarter-final against Arnaud Merkler. And Popov found a game plan to defeat the favourite for the title, Axelsson, just yesterday. And we've seen Ladies the energy shown by the French on team. My right, now already two Denmark. European goals this week after starting the week with zero. There's something really and special left, in the air Thomas for the Junior French Popov. players. France. Popov hadn't come close before against Atkinson, but he found a way yesterday. He hasn't come serve. close before against Anderson. Will he find a way in this Play. final? One love. And that's found Love. the line for Antonsen.
three, love. Anna Zantensen has had an amazing start to this year, winning the Malaysia Open, a Super 1000 World Tour event, and then following up with the Indonesia Masters, a tournament he really, really enjoys and seems to always do well at. But looking at some of the players that he's defeated along the way, some real informed players and prospects for Service over. the Olympics coming up this year. Kode Naraoka, Chiyushi, Lakshya Sen and Kunlavut Vitetsan. All players that Anna Antonsen has been able to defeat this year. Play. And if he is to come away with the European champion tag leading into the Olympics, after winning the silver medal at the World Championships, he'll certainly be one of the names in the mix for the Paris Olympics just round the corner. Brilliant smashing from Popov. That's Two, some of the aggression three. that he showed yesterday in, in the semi final. Not afraid to Quick. loosen up. Bit of deception setting up the opportunity. Service over. Four. It's a two. Simple opportunity that went amiss for Pop Off there at the net. If we were to take one thing away from the semi final, Palmer Junior Pop Off did fantastically well at putting pressure at the net. Almost at times using. Men's doubles returns of serve in that front area. But Antonsen is one of the greatest tacticians in men's singles. He'd be aware of that. Looking to take that area Five, of the court away two. from Popoff early on here. Finding the angles for himself. So it's over. Three, six. Defensive work from Antonsen, but it was a shot too Four, far. Six. Pop off capitalizing on. on. Get the shuttle. Some of his attacking shots, jumping out of the base, really committing to that forehand smash, and then able to follow up with an easier kill. Four, six.
five, six. Popov narrowly winning that net exchange. Line judge, wipe the court. Very tight. Very good. A bit of a smile from Antonsen. Very nice touch from the Frenchman. Thank you. Five, six. Service over, seven, five. Tom Junior Popoff, of course, is now firmly in the ranking points needed for the road to Paris. But it is, of course, two Popoff brothers vying for that opportunity to represent France. In Paris. Service over. Six, seven. How amazing would it be if he was able to represent his curry, his country at a home Olympics with the tag of European champion? Service over. Eight. Six. Great defence from Antonsen. He had the opportunity for the counter-strike, but pushed seven, it wide. Eight. But he is picking up. Pop off smash really well. Making pop off move to follow up that defensive shot. Service over. Nine, seven. Great play. By Ten, Antonsen running into seven. the net, but he already won the point. Full commitment from the Dane. Great play by Antonsen. Jogging seven, interval. to the first break. 11-7 up. Of course, last time Antonsen was crowned European champion was also an Olympic year because of the delayed Tokyo Olympics. And we weren't able to See the final that everyone was excited to see, Victor Axelsen versus Anders Antonsen due to positive COVID test. 
Hannes Antonsen was crowned European champion, but this time round, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. The final is being played, and oh, how he would love to be Coach, crowned European champion Coach, in the year again. Players on court. Eleven seven play. Service over eight eleven. Service over. Great proactive play moving well, towards the net. Eight. Trying to do it again, but this time Pop Up was aware of it. Service over. Nine, twelve. Setting up the attack for himself. It'll be a very interesting battle in that department. We can establish dominance in that front midcourt area. Incredible stuff from Pop Up. How we actually managed to get that shuffle back 13, over. He's completely out of position. Nine. Tried to anticipate the shot. Great deception from Antonsen. Fourteen
10, 14. Play. Brilliant defence from the Dane. Very solid. On the junior pop off. Again, trying for different solutions, taking the pace out, clipping the shuttle down rather than just raw power. But he found the opportunity there to slam 11, it down cross court. 14. Most players would give up when they're seeing shuttle. the shuttle come back so well. Not Tom or Junior pop off. He found a way to battle through. Thank you. Thank you. The year is made to be 11, working 14. hard. You can see with his breathing, working hard to even keep up with Antonsen. And he's found another winner. 14. Arms aloft from his father at the back of the court, saying, there you go, that's how you can do it. Believe in yourself, you can find the winners as you did in the deciding game against Axelsson. They are slowly but surely closing 13, the gap on his 14. opponent. Paul, service over. A great mid-court drive. 13. From Antonson, who's rocking the blue headband today. Service over. Ooh, oh, that was sorry, a very sorry. close no, no. call. My mistake. 16 13. Who was it? Anna Zantonson animated, jumping up. Just made the wrong call. He thought sorry. that the ball was out. He was adamant he'd found the line with that shot. Change. A late backhand giving Antonson an opportunity. To find the line, from a junior pop off, hands on hips. Play. Really important point in this first game. From a junior pop off, looking to inject 13. the pace, but it's came back to bite him. Antonsen ready to intercept and drive past the Frenchman. So it's over. 14, 17.
A great defence from the body of Antonsen. <laughs> Again, great graft from Popov. Superb footwork to adjust his body. Get these shots deep into his court. But he wasn't able to find a way to dig that one out. So it's over 18, 14. Popov finding himself taking a lot of shots late behind him. Not being able to do much with the shots. And again, that delightful cross-court block that Antonsen's so good at. It looks like the easiest stroke in the world, but it's very difficult. It requires Late. great timing, anticipation, great preparation, great racket skills. Fault. Service over. And 15, it's one of those examples of Popov's returns of serve. Finding winners. Great play by Popov. Adjusted his feet in the direction, 18. anticipating that lift. Come on. We like see a replay here. He's already moving to that forehand corner, adjusting his feet, getting ready before Antonsen actually took the shot. It means he was able to leap out of his base and play a shot with some serious Thank angle. 16-18. Sixteen, eighteen. Service over, nineteen, sixteen. So it's over 17, 19. Bit of tension in the closing stages of this opening game. So it's over 20 game point, 17. There's three game points, Anderson, please, with that. Grafting his way. An opportunity to close out this first game. Service over. 18 20. And there it is. Antonsen sprinting First to his stuff to take it to Thomas the other Anderson, side of the net. 21, 18. Rapid, quick time. He's not hanging about. Great anticipation, driving off the net. Reaching round the head to intercept. Yeah. 
meget, at han ikke, altså, han ikke når på plads. Men han er meget disciplineret ikke at spille den stærke kryds op på min opsang. Ja. Han spiller den bare lige kort. Ja. Men han har pumpet den endnu fladere, og han har ikke spillet ret højt i morgen. Han har... ja. Men så er, det, så er det mere, hvis jeg er i den der, hvor jeg trænger den fladere, så gør han ja. sådan der. Og det er det er stadigvæk kamp ud til siderne. Ja, der er masser af plads, og vi tager mange i baggrunden af det. Lad os lidt mere på med at lave den over til hans forhold. Ja. Især udefra. Der skal jeg meget ja, tilbage. Bare lige til det, der sker i tilbage. A deep conversation about tactics on both sides of the net. Last few words from the coaches. A close opening game in this men's singles final. 21-18 to the Dane. He's never lost to Tromo Junior Popoff, but Popoff has been a different Lavar. proposition entirely this week. He's managed to find Great. energy reserves from somewhere, riding the French wave of European goals this week. Can he find a way to force a decider? And that was One a demonstration of Popov trying to set the tone, being really aggressive early on in this first rally. But Antonsen allowed the opportunity to hit back and counter that aggression with a few swift shots overhead. Service over. That's great play by Popoff. That One. stayed in. All. Deep in the forehand corner. Brilliant rally. Anderson clipping that down. Opportunity to attack. The pop off staying strong. Again, taking those shots late on the backhand. See Popov slowing down a little bit as the match yesterday taking its toll against Victor Axelsson. Looking a little bit leggy. He's found the corner. He's Two, found it. One, was in. Brilliant from Popov. Don't try Antonsen to thought it was line. long. It is called good for France. Finding that precision deep into the corner. It Back did look a little long. It's very hard to tell from this angle.
three, one. Service over. Two, three. That was superbly set up by Antonson. Three, all. Change. Caressing the shuttle cross court. Making a pop off. Bend towards that shot to dig it up into a lift, but it was a lift where Antonson was looking at a lot of space on court to smash into. Coach Kenneth Jonasson behind the court for Anna Zantonson. As it's a European Championships, familiar face. Supporting Anna Zantonson Five, towards three. a potential second European title. Title that Kenneth Jonasson himself won back in 2008. He knows what it takes. It was his record to be the best in Europe. Six, three. It is a category that the Danes have dominated for quite some time. In the 90s, Paul Eric Hoyer Larsen, Peter Gader, Peter Rasmussen. Kenneth Jonasson, and more recently, Jana Jorgensen, Victor Axelsen, and Anders Antonsen himself coming away with the European gold. Six, three. Superb play by Popoff. He's got the open court, cross court. Service over. Four, Antonson sprawling six, cross on. court. On this, on this. Stay calm. Stay calm. And is Antonson angry about something? Come on. Come on. Come on. Not quite Toma. sure if something was said after that rally. Toma. Tensions are high. There's a lot at stake in this European final. Homer Jr. pop off explaining his so. side of the story. The umpire trying to calm things I'm down and dispensing the final. Anders. Anders. There's still a conversation ha being had between the two players. Thomas Jr. pop off with the winner. Anders Antonsen falling across court. Perhaps something was on back on court. said across on, stop it. across the net.
change. Both players desperate to win every single rally. And then a handshake between the two, which is nice to see. Good sportsmanship. There's a lot of tension and pressure in this match. Thank you, guys. Both players desperate to win the goal. Four, six. But then, of course, there's always the handshake at the end of this competition. And a lot of respect between the two players. Two have met in a final earlier this year in the European Men's Team Championship final, where Antonsen was leading Denmark to another victory, and he had to take Six. on Thomas Junior Popov. Oh. He managed to win that one 21-15, 21-15 in Poland, but it was a really competitive affair as is this final here in Germany. Service over. Well left from Antonsen. Seven, six. Watching the shuttle all the way as it lands far of the back line. Cracking smash down the line. He's still Seven. finding the power. Oh. Still finding the winners. Change. One thing for sure, he'll never give up until the very end. Working tremendously hard in this final. Is over. Eight, seven. Great bit of deception. Nine. Holding seven. his racket. Just in time to deceive Popoff. Yeah. Here we see it hold and flick. Popoff was stepping backwards, allowing Antonson to find the winner. Again, a great interception. Seven. Right to left. Driving down the forehand, anticipating the shot down to his backhand. Change. But initially, great defence. And found the winner down the line to hop off his forehand. Seven. 
Service over. Eight, ten. Service over. Eleven. Yeah, and Antonsen's showing he's full of energy. Joking. To his box to have a chat with Kenneth Jonasson. He must be getting increasingly excited with how this final's going. Not over until he wins that final rally on championship points. Thomas Junior pop up not far behind. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Players back on court. Eleven eight. Play. Twelve eight. Service over. Nine, twelve. Again, the look of the, Ten, the net cord. 12. Oh, pop off there. And as Antonsen desperate for an opportunity to be satisfied Eight. with the European Championships. Narrowly missed out on European gold in 2017. And in the final on, on home soil so it's over. against England's Rajiv Usef losing 21-19. 21-19 in that final. In Kiev, we mentioned already that he won European goal, but the final wasn't played. And in Madrid in 2022, he reached the final again, losing out to Victor Axelsson 21-17, 21-15. And afterwards, he said... The fans so deserve over. an apology. He was not happy 11, with his performance in the final. 13. So three finals. I'd leave a bitter taste in Antonsen's mouth. And here's an opportunity after a terrific week Pult. to top so things over. off with the European gold. And he's in 14, pole position now in the second 11. game. 14-11 up. Things are looking very positive. 
for the Dane. Back on court. Toma. Fourteen, eleven. Great play, but great defence from Popoff. Has that just gone wide? So over. It has 12, great resilience from Popoff. 14. Pop -off. Thank you. Antonsen playing some great attacking. Back and forth. Shots, but Popoff able to match it. On this. Twelve, fourteen. Pop off, rolling up his sleeves, literally and metaphorically, working hard in this final. Great net exchange there. Service over. It's another drive. He's really pleased with that. 15, A whip of the racket 12, on his backhand. Rated. Driving Change. it out of Popoff's body. Really effective sh Thank shot you. against the tall man. And this new shuttle. Thank you. Toma. Fifteen, twelve. Play. That one's out the back. He's 16, edging ever closer. 12. To the ultimate prize. 16 12. Seventeen twelve. You can see Popov's head dropped a little bit. It must be draining. He's working hard against Antonsen, who had a simpler semi-final yesterday. You have to begin 18, to wonder how much has it taken out 12. to pop off the win against Axelsson. And this has opened the door for Antonsen towards European gold. These are tired shots now. 19, 12. From Popov. Pop. So it's over. He's still finding ways. 13, to 19. Find and create winners. But it has to be too little too late. Potomo Jr. pop off. He's converted his bronze medal from Madrid 2022. He's turned it into 
what will likely be a silver medal. Great play from Antonsen. Popping the shot over the Frenchman's head into the space. 20, match point 13. He's really been able to manipulate that shot, that deception. Keeping his racket high when moving towards the net. And flicking it over, pop off, making him move backwards. That's where he's at his weakest. Brilliant tactics from Antonsen. A great final. Now he's got seven championship points. Has he got it? Pop off, being resolute defensively. Yeah. And he's eventually smashed his way through. And he celebrates to the crowd. Thomas. He can't believe it. It's a sensational Thomas. feeling. It's a feeling that he's not been able to have Come despite on. three finals before, despite yep. winning European gold. He, he gets to experience the feeling of hitting that winning shot. Thank you. A warm embrace with his opponent. It was a tough final, but he stayed true to his tactics and his Antonsen, and he adds to his European goal and 18, wins the second European title as he 13. throws his shirt into the crowd. A lovely memento for a badminton fan there. He's played some great stuff this week. He's been the informed men's singles player from Europe. And now he's got the right to call himself European champion, going into another Olympic Games in a couple of months' time. It wasn't to be for Toma Jr. Popoff, two European goals for France, but a silver medal in the men's singles not to be sniffed at a terrific week for the French team he'll wake up tomorrow and he'll be happy with that he'll be happy with his sensational and memorable victory over Victor Axelsen in the semi-final but it's all about Anna's Antonsen here he's delighted with that European title win And now it begs the question, what can this man do at the Olympic Games? He's already defeated some informed men's single stars. Can he be in amongst the medals for Denmark in Paris? Only time will tell. We have the medal ceremony for the men's singles coming up soon. And then we'll be able to hear from the man in interview.
alle 159 Spiele liegen in dieser Woche hinter uns. Und jetzt machen wir uns ein letztes Mal bereit für die allerletzte Siegerehrung. Die Spieler, die stehen schon bereit. Lass uns sie nochmal gemeinsam reinrufen. Aber die waren gerade auch beim Interview. Wir müssen richtig laut sein, dass sie uns hören. Also alle gemeinsam, kommt gerne mal rein. The fifth prize ceremony of the day. And the medals will be presented by Sven Serer, President of Badminton Europe, Boris Reda, Head of Communication in Osa Farm, Ralf Michaelis, President of German Badminton Federation, and the Minister of Sports, Reinhold Joost. We have wieder einen geteilten dritten Platz, einen großen Applaus und herzlichen Glückwunsch für Viktor Axelsen aus Dänemark und Joachim Oldorf aus Finnland. And here we have the last medal ceremony of the championships. And bronze medal goes to Joachim Oldorf. What a fantastic week he's had. The young 21-year-old from Finland, the second bronze medal for Finland in the men's singles. And Victor Axelsson, sensationally his eighth time on the European podium. And this time he has to settle from bronze. The man on the other side of the podium is the reason for it. Thomas Junior Papa for France. Defeating the reigning champion to enter into a final. He met the man, Anna Zankinson, in Madrid 2022. He settled for bronze proudly, wearing bronze around his neck. And this time around, he's converted that bronze into a silver medal for France. And what a terrific week it has been for the French team their best medal haul at the European Championships. And now Leading into the Paris Olympics Spanish later on this year, so very exciting moment. stuff for France. You but the man of the European moment, the men's singles champion, the European Anders. champion for the second time, it's Anna Zantensen of Denmark. He's been sensational all week, very composed, in what may be a promising year for Anna Zantensen. Silver last time, converting that silver into a gold, a gold that he can really enjoy and celebrate this time round. Receiving all the congratulations and cheers from the crowd. And now it's time for the and Danish national for the anthem. Last time to stay. Everybody, please rise for the national anthem of Denmark.
Freunde, ich darf mich bei euch allen recht herzlich für diese Woche, fürs Besuchen, fürs Vorbeikommen in der Saarlandhalle bedanken. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet ein richtig, richtig, richtig sportlich schönes Turnier und wurdet sehr gut unterhalten. Ich darf euch an dieser Stelle auch noch gleich erinnern oder ankündigen. Unter dem Motto Größer, Schöner, Besser. Oktober, November 2020. Europameister, der Neue und der Verdiente. The new European Champion. Well deserved. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What was the match plan today? Oh, it was a, a very, very nervous uh, played match. Um, I don't know exactly how he felt, but I was definitely shaky uh, during the match. So not like uh, the most pretty match, um, but I was able to just control my nerves uh, as much as, uh, as I needed to. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the middle of the second set, there was a little discussion. Uh, maybe uh, I put it like this. Uh, what was the reason? Uh, yeah, so there was like a controversial call. Um, he got upset. Then afterwards, afterwards, we played a crazy rally. I dived to the floor and I really hurt my knees. Um, the floor in here is horrible. It's super, super hard. It's like playing out on the parking lot, to be honest. So I really smashed my knees down into the floor. He won the rally and really stared me down. And it pissed me off, like the pain combined with him staring me down. Um, so yeah, I went to the net. We, yeah, I don't know, said a few things, but we, uh, yeah, we, we sorted it out. Okay. How worthy is this title for you? What are the emotions? I'm so, so happy. Um, yeah, I really wanted to, to win this final match. Um, I had expected to face Victor in the final. So obviously when, when suddenly like a, a chance like this appears, you really want to grab it. And I think that was why I was a bit extra nervous today because I wanted it so bad. So yeah, my third, uh, my third victory this year, it feels amazing. And uh, now uh, some uh, Danske Fahrtöl. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't really drink many beers, to be honest, uh, but definitely a good meal. Yeah, and uh, uh, looking forward to the Olympic Games. Is that um, uh, a chance uh, for another medal? Obviously, uh, obviously that's the big goal, um, so, so why not aim for that? But there's so, much, uh, there's so many tournaments prior to the Olympics that I really want to do well in. But uh, yeah, I'll take one tournament at the time. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Wer schnappt sich die letzten Shirts? Macht euch lang!